Mark Twain said, travel is fatal to prejudice, bigotry, and narrow-mindedness. What did he mean? As we consider how our identity, imagination, and dreams are formed, we are typically blind to how we are shaped by those around us. When we travel, we're exposed to cultures, experiences, and outlooks that are very different from ours, and this broadens our perspectives. In this series, we will spend time with Jesus, observing and copying his rhythms or disciplines so his presence and experiences begin to change us and our perspectives. We start with a warning in Galatians 4.19. Paul opens with the endearing address, my little children, then for whom I am again in the anguish of childbirth until Christ is formed in you. We see the end state of Christ formed in us, but what is behind is anguish. Earlier in verse nine, they were turning to weak and worthless elementary principles of the world. They were slipping into a religious following of the law, adding rituals to their faith and believing by doing so that they added to their righteousness before God. When in reality, this was closer to a return to their paganism. This is a warning to us and a reminder that we are on the same slippery slope when we think we have or can earn some of our righteousness, or we think that God loves us more when we obey and less when we don't. When we do this, we forget the gospel. You see, God sees us as if we had lived the life that Jesus lived. We are clothed in his righteousness alone. To think that we could add one bit to what Jesus did is the most egregious arrogance imaginable. For us in Christ, don't think God will love us more or view us as more righteous if we follow these disciplines. So what should our attitude be? So I think our starting point with these rhythms is a point of recognizing our utter dependence, gratitude, and peace, knowing that we have an unshakable acceptance in Christ. Would you join me in asking him to see our dependence on him and to fill us with gratitude and peace in new ways and greater measure? We then get to participate in this process as we travel with him, Jesus, on his journey. We sit at his feet as Mary did. We watch and join him in the rhythms which he lived out his earthly life his presence infusing us, changing us, blowing away our prejudices and narrow-mindedness and making us more and more like him in tiny, often imperceivable steps. Hey, thank you for engaging with this episode of Anchored. Are you part of Bethel Church and interested in being a host for this podcast? We know that God speaks to each one of us. We want to faithfully grow the people who contribute and share their insights through this podcast. If you are interested in learning more about this opportunity, please email video at Bethel.ch.